Hello Christina here. The temperatures have plummeted here in Cyprus and I wanted to look at what we're using in the shower because that really can affect the hydration levels and the comfort levels of our skin and it really does start from the shower. For me, no one does it better the L'Occitane and the shower oils. They hydrate the skin, they clean the skin, they nourish the skin, they moisturize the skin. Um, but just like the way that we use face oils, how they break down all the grime, all the pollution, uh, all the dirt, all the sweat, shower oils do that for the body. And for me, no one else does it light like L'Occitane. So we've got a choice of two shower oils that they do. This one's been around for 12 years. This one came about last year. They're both unisex. They're both fantastic. Because I use this on a regular basis, I buy it in the half litre size. I think the, um, the, the, the regular size of the 250, you, you've got the half litre size. And then this one was introduced last year. It's only available in one size at the moment, 250 mil. But I'm hoping that L'Occitane will do it in a half litre size. And what I find with the pump action is that you actually use less and it's more economical. They're both unisex, the whole family can use them and it really does protect the skin at this time of year. So much so that when you use them you may feel that you don't need to use a body moisturiser afterwards. Or if you've got young children and you know that they're not going to use a body moisturiser afterwards, you know if they're using shower oils that their skin is protected. It's clean, it's soft, it's hydrated, it's nourished, it's comforted, all at the same time. So this one came about 12 years ago, the Almond uh, Shower Oil. It is their global top selling shower oil. Product. And both can be used in the shower or they can be used in the bath as well. And in this one, it's, you've got essential fatty acids in here. You've got grapeseed oil, you've got sunflower seed oil, and you've got sweet almond oil. Um, and they really do cleanse the skin, but protect the skin at the same time. So I want to show you what the shower oils are like. And it looks like an oil and it feels like an oil. This time of year, this is just so, it's so warming and so comforting at the same time. You've got, it smells of crisp apple blossom and warming vanilla. Now there are times where I will just use it in the shower and literally just put it onto my skin um, and then wash it off. And there are times, if I'm going to have a bath with the shower oil, then what I'll do is I'll put this all over my body and run a warm bath. And then once the bath is ready, it's just slip in, and then you'll just notice that the water just turns from, and the oil itself will turn from an oil into a milk. And you can feel how comforting it is on the skin, and how it really is a luxurious bathing product, but not necessarily at a luxurious bathing price. And if you love it like I do, it's so much more economical to get it into the half litre pumps. This is absolutely beautiful. So that's the, the, uh, the almond oil. Um, and it's also perfect. So if you're going on winter holidays, um, you can get it in smaller sizes so that you can take with you. So, so if you're going for a winter ski holiday, for example, you really want to look after your skin, then you've got smaller sizes that are available as well. Now this one came about last year. Out of the two, I would say this is more of a sophisticated fragrance. They are both unisex, but if you're thinking for children, maybe then smell-wise, this one might be more appropriate. This is suitable for super sensitive skin. It is their sheer butter, uh, shower oil. It's got 10% shea butter in here with grapeseed oil again. So it's really hydrating, nourishing, comforting, but it's a very different smell. Oh, it smells to me of newborn babies. It smells very much of almost like a baby shampoo. So Again, this, again, as I said, both unisex, but maybe if you've got young children, you want them to use a shower, maybe this one is more appropriate for them. Again, looks like an oil, it feels like an oil, and then when it hits the water, it turns again into just a beautiful, comforting, 
nourishing milk. Again, whole family can use it. And you know, if you're using a shower oil, you've got your family to use a shower oil, that you're protecting their skin at the same time. And they don't even need to know about it. But you know that you're protecting them. So a lot of the times after a shower oil, L'Occitane shower oils, um, you'll find that you may not want to use a body moisturiser, or you may not need to use a body moisturiser afterwards. However, my tip for you this week is this. Once you've got out of your warm shower, your warm bath using your shower oils, while your skin is still damp, apply your body moisturiser. That will seal in the moisture levels into your skin and your skin will feel super, super soft over these winter months. That is my tip for this week. Have a fabulous week and I'll see you very, very soon.